Hello, Mike the Boiler Man here. Right, this afternoon, a quick chat about another fault that occurs with the Pulsar Core 2000 that gives you no hot water. One which, if you're mildly technical, you can fix yourself. Um, now, uh, first of all, when there's no hot water, there is a boost facility, usually a third switch on the wall next to the Pulsar Coil. Uh, if you switch that on and you find you do get hot water, then this indicates that the problem lies in the off-peak heater element. Only the off-peak doesn't work. The on-peak is in perfectly good working order. So, uh, thing to do is to take the front off the machine, uh, take the two screws out at the top edge, and then the panel, the whole panel will hinge forward uh, and you can lift it off. Then you'll see two black elements, two black heater elements, with black caps over rather, uh, like this. I'll put a photograph up now. The, uh, the lower of the two is the off-peak heater, which isn't working. The upper of the two is the daytime heater, which when you turned it on, did give you hot water. Um, just a quick note, if you turn the daytime on and you still didn't get hot water, then this is not the fault the yours is suffering from, it's something else. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's assume you did get hot water when you tested it with the daytime heater. Uh, take the black plastic cap off by undoing this little brass nut to one edge. Uh, the head will come off. This will reveal the thermostat, which is the electric switch that turns the power on and off to the heater element. It turns it on when the heat water is too, too cool. It turns it off when the water is hot enough. Uh, and in between these two wires here that I'm pointing out with the screwdriver, there is a little black reset button about the size of a match head. Now this will probably need pushing in. If you press it in, it'll go click down into place, just a millimetre or so down and stay down. You only get one chance to do this. <laughs> so uh, if you do that and it stays down, then chances are pretty high that's fixed the problem. So there we are, put the black plastic cap back on again, put the front back on again and wait until tomorrow morning and you'll probably have your hot water back again. There we are, I hope that helps. If it doesn't help and you need your boiler fixing by anybody like me, <laughs> then give me a call, track me down, I'm Mike the Boiler Man, Google me, Mike the Boiler Man Reading, or click on the link below uh, where it says MikeTheBoilerMan.com. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.